What's up guys, my name is Tabiz and I'm coming to you today with a Rocket League vehicle review. In this video we're going to be looking at the all new Xbox One exclusive vehicle, the Halo Hog Sticker. Now some of you may know this as the Warthog from the Halo series. Some may even know it as a Puma. But I don't know. It's just called the Hog Sticker in game. Why Psyonix did that, I don't know. Probably a copyright thing. But anyways, let's get right into it. Now first, you may be wondering, Tabiz, how do I get this sweet looking rod? Well, it's actually pretty easy. All you need to do is go into an exhibition. You can just set it to 1v1. You can go into your mutator settings. Go to <laughs> default. And you can set the max score to one goal. Leave everything the exact same. Set the difficulty to rookie, and then you need to go through and win one game with every single vehicle. And this does include the Gears of War Armadillo, which I reviewed in a previous video. Once you do that, you'll get this sick looking Halo Hog sticker. Now, since this is a custom vehicle and it is an exclusive, there are no customization options, just like the Armadillo. It means no custom stickers. The only custom paint you can do is for the color. No custom wheels. Boom. You get no custom stream, but who needs one? Oh, look at that. So sick. Do you recognize this? It's because that's exactly what the Needler output looks like from the Needler gun in the game. There are no custom hats, no custom antennas. Now, you might be wondering, how does it handle? Well, if you saw my previous video about the Gears of War Armadillo, it doesn't handle like that. Let's go into the gameplay and take a look at it. Now, in Rocket League, all of the, vid the vehicles actually have the same forward thrust, the same reverse thrust, the same boost. Oh man, listen to that sound. Oh, it sounds so sweet. And they have the same jump height. Where the vehicles really differ is in the turning radius and the hitbox. Now the hitbox only comes into play when you're actually hitting something, whether that be another player or the ball. But let's go ahead and take a look at the turning radius. As you can see, if I take off ball cam, you can see it's a lot tighter than other vehicles like the Gears of War Armadillo. It makes it feel like it's handling quicker, more agile, which for me actually plays into my gameplay a lot more than the Armadillo or any of the heavier vehicles such as the Mert. Now this will actually come into play as well with the power slide. Because you can see this has a pretty tight turning radius and it's sticking much closer onto the, the driver's side wheel for the turn, which is great. And it's much more responsive. Oh, this thing is just so much fun to drive. It feels like the smaller cars, I wouldn't compare it to a Zippy or a Gizmo or a Scarab. But it's closer, I would say, to maybe the Dominus. Or if you've actually played with the new DeLorean from the Back to the Future DLC, it's kind of like that but not as agile that vehicle for its size is pretty daggum fast it's pretty swift to handle and it's to me i like the way it feels plus it looks sick but enough about that we're talking about this sweet looking hog sticker now it is fun to play with unlike the gears of war armadillo it's only got four wheels and i assume in the cockpit it's got six pedals even though there's only four directions. Red versus blue fans will get that one. But enough about how it looks. Let's listen to it. Just listen to that sound. It's got a sweet sounding engine. Mm. Woo! Sounds like a real vehicle there. But enough screwing around. Let's go play with it. Now I'm not going to go into an online match because, well, that would just be embarrassing to me. So we're actually going to go into an exhibition. I actually like setting up little quick exhibitions with 2v2s or 3v3s. 
and I'm just going to leave the mutators on one goal. Now this won't give you a real sense of how it'll handle when you're playing online, but when you're just playing for a season or an exhibition, it won't handle any differently than it does now. So let's see what I can get. I don't want to score off the beginning kickoff. So, oh, thank goodness he hit it. I don't want to end this too quickly. It'd be a very short, very boring video. Oh, I should have hit that. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, don't stop it. Oh. Now, since Rocket League has only been on the Xbox One for a couple of weeks, I still don't have all the physics and gameplay down, but I still can do... Oh, God, don't score. I really should have set the mutator at, like, five goals, not one. Oh, that was such a bad idea. Anyways, but if you saw my other video about the Gears of War armadillo, this thing just feels more responsive. It feels better. It feels different than any of the other DLC vehicles. It feels like you're driving one of the regular Rocket League battle cars, which is great, and that's how it should feel. It shouldn't really handle too much differently than anything else. Oh, get out of my way, breakout! Mm. Get out of here! Now, one thing I do like to do is actually play with the mutator of a uh, slow recharge on your boost. That makes things so much fun. I actually want to take this into online play. Play Snow Day playlist. See how it handles on the ice. Oh, oh. If you haven't tried that playlist out, mm, let me tell you. Lots of fun. Also, lots of frustration. Now, enough chili dicking around here. Let's actually score on this. Get this over with. Come on, go. Got to dribble, got to dribble. Go. Er, go. Er. There we go. Man, I just love the way that, that boost sounds when you kick it in. It sounds just like the Needler from the game. Oh, it takes me back to playing Combat Evolved so many years ago. But that's just a quick view at the gameplay. Nothing really special I wanted to show off, but it's a lot of fun to play with. And it's really easy to get. Between the two Xbox One exclusive vehicles, this is actually the one I prefer to play with. Now, I really wish it did come with some other paint styles other than hog sticker, only because I would prefer a little bit more of a matte finish, but I would also like to maybe throw in the metallic pearl because I think that would look sick on this vehicle in the blue. Especially for that Spartan blue coming on there. Mm, that would look great. But anyways, that's going to be this end of this review for the Halo Hog Sticker from Rocket League. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit like and subscribe. And we'll see you out on the pitch.